During his recent visit to Bolivia, Pope Francis called the unfettered pursuit of money el estiércol del diablo, the dung of the devil. He blamed it for environmental degradation and said greed has taken over the economic system in a subtle dictatorship. De esta sutil dictadura. It was seen as a revolutionary call for help for those who have not benefited from globalization. Stephen Schneck of the Catholic University of America in Washington says the Pope's concern comes from his experience as Archbishop of Buenos Aires. This is a man who is on fire with whatever that inspiration was that he, he drew from you know, dealing with the marginalized in uh, Argentina. Pope Francis believes the free market needs a moral framework, says Schneck. He's not arguing against the market per se. What he's saying is that the, the market can't be idolized. In other words, we can't turn the market and its operations into, sort of, sort of, into some sort of an idol. The Pope's supporters say he's not advocating a Marxist solution. But his view is seen as a critique of the United States leadership of the global economy. Digamos no. Let us say no to an economy of exclusion and inequality, where money rules rather than service. That economy kills. That economy excludes. That economy destroys Mother Earth. Oh, when the Pope says that this economy kills, that this economy destroys the environment, um, I'm not quite sure what economy he's talking about. Former Vatican consultant Kishore Jayabalan says the Pope's view is one-sided. When the Pope suggested globalization was a factor in the migrant crisis in the Mediterranean, he had it backwards, says Jayabalan. Poor people benefit from being part of this global economy. And the worst thing would be to exclude them and force them to become migrants which is what's happening today. On the flight back to Rome, Francis was asked what he thought of such criticism coming mainly from American conservatives. He said he ought to study it before he visits the United States in September. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington.